Hey there, it's Eric Evans said with bootstrapbizgrowth.com and in this video I want to show you how to add an email signature to your Gmail account. So an email signature is a great way to promote your business because you're sending emails all day to people. So with an email signature you can embed your social media links, you can put your logo in there, you can put all your contact information so it's very easy for somebody to contact you and uh, know how to contact you. And then you can also add a call to action. So this is something that I really like to do. If you have an opt-in page where you're trying to collect email addresses, um, or maybe you're like me and you have a website company and you wanna get uh, people to sign up for something like a free website assessment. So this is how we get people in the door is that free website assessment. I'm gonna put a link in my footer that is a call to action for that free website assessment. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna pull up my screen. I'm just gonna walk you through how to create a very simple email signature in Gmail. So here I am in my Gmail account. I'm gonna come over here to this little gear icon and this is the settings area. So I'm gonna click on that and then I'm gonna to go to settings. And we're gonna be in this first tab, general. So just leave it as is. And then you're gonna scroll down here and there's a signature section. So what we wanna do is add in your signature right here. So maybe at the top of it, you wanna add your, your company's logo. So we could do insert image and we would wanna do paste an image URL. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go up into my browser and I'm gonna grab my logo. So here's my website, here's my logo. I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna do copy image address. Now I'm gonna go back into here and I'm do control V. I'm gonna paste it in there and I'm gonna do select and now there's my logo. Obviously that's way too big so I'm gonna do the small option there. Um, we can see what medium looks like as well. I'm gonna go small. So you can change it around. Uh, you just click on it once and then you can select small, medium, large, or original size. So we're going small there. Then we go to the next line and I'm just gonna type out my name. Maybe I want this to be a bit bigger. Maybe it's bold. Okay, that looks good. And I'll come down here. And you maybe type out your, um, your role or your position at the company. So for most of us, since we're entrepreneurs, it'll be founder or owner, or, um, marketing director, whatever you want that to be, that is up to you. I'm gonna make that a little bit smaller. There we go. And then maybe I'll do my phone number. Do an email address. It may seem goofy to do an email address here since they're getting an email from you, but I would recommend it because if they forward your email to somebody else, um, or maybe it's copy and pasted, it's just a good idea to put it in here. It doesn't hurt at all to, to have it in there. I'm gonna put my uh, website. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, maybe I am gonna make that medium. That looks a little bit better. Um, then down here is where you're going to put that call to action. So for me, I might say click here for your free website assessment, something like that. I could probably make that a little bit more enticing, but we'll just use that as, a, as this example. I would link this to a page on my website where I collect that information. Um, so I'm just gonna do my contact page for now, but you would wanna set up an actual opt-in page where they'd come, they could learn about that website assessment, um, maybe see a couple testimonials, and then have some sort of contact form where they could sign up to get that assessment. So that looks good there. I'm gonna make this maybe a little bit bigger. Boom, like that. Maybe I'll change the font color to make it st stand out a bit. Um, so that is how you do an email signature. You can play around with it, add different information if you want. Lots you can do. You could add an image of yourself. So maybe instead of this uh, logo, maybe we wanted to add an image of ourself. 
uh, what you would do there is you would do insert image. And again, we're going to need to grab an image of ourselves. So one of the easiest ways to do this would be to go to your LinkedIn profile or your Facebook profile. And on there, you probably have a nice profile picture. So obviously, this should be pretty professional, which is why I really liked LinkedIn. I'm going to right click on my image there. I'm going to do copy image address. Same thing I did before. Control V. And there now I have an image. I'm going to make this small. And now we have a nice image of ourselves in our email signature, which uh, can add a nice personal touch people so they can put a face to the name, a face to the email, a face to the message. That's going to help you build trust, build loyalty. Um, lots of benefits there of putting in the picture of yourself. So this is how you do a very simple email signature in Gmail. You can attach it here. This little drop down is saying is asking you which email you want to sign this to. So if you manage multiple email addresses out of your Gmail account, you can tie different email signatures to different email accounts. So this will say is for Eric at Mountain Mobile. Um, that looks good. And I would come down here and hit save to just finalize everything. And then what I'll show you is I'm going to go back in here. And now maybe I have another email address in here that I want to also update. So I would click on that and now I can update this one as well. So that's how you do it if you have multiple email signatures that you need to create if you're managing multiple email addresses in your, your Gmail account. Oh, and then one last thing that I want to show you is down here you want to say insert this signature before quoted text and replies and remove the uh, dashes line that precedes it. So you want to leave that checked. That's just going to make sure that your, your signature gets seen in all of your emails. So that's it. It's really that simple to go out and create this email signature in Gmail. It just takes a couple of minutes, add in all your contact information, maybe an image of yourself or a business logo. Add in that call to action because this is free marketing, free advertising. Do that, get set up, and it's just going to give you a more polished look to your emails. And again, it's going to help drive traffic to your website. It's going to help get people to contact you to sign up as clients or customers. Just go do it. It takes a couple minutes, but it's going to have huge effects for you over time. You are going to get some more sales out of this. I promise you that. And if you have any questions, shoot me a message down below in the comments field. Give us a thumbs up if you found value in this video. Share it across the interwebs if you know anybody else that might find value in this video too. And I would love it if you subscribe to our YouTube channel. What we do is we talk about how to grow a business on a budget. So all of our videos around that general theme. We talk about affordable marketing strategies that actually work. Outsourcing, productivity tips, tools, tips, and technology that's going to help make your life easier as an entrepreneur. So hit that big red subscribe button down below and join our community. And then lastly, I just want to thank you for stopping by. Really appreciate you watching this video, and we'll see you next time.